Hey guys, it is Michelle, and today I'm going to be doing a few videos. I'm doing a haul, and then I got um, some stuff to unbox, which is really exciting. Anyway, hi, Des. Oh, yeah, we've got a few unboxings as well today. Anyway, we're just going to get started. First, I did a little uh, shopping. Um, I got a small sample of, I think it's called Maypole. I can't really read it. This stuff smells just like the salted caramel scrub that they had. Oh boy, they have so many new things. I'm really excited. So I have a lot of soap that I'm trying to use up right now. So I didn't want to get a big piece. Next time, maybe we'll see how much I go through. Cause I have a, a I have a soap draw. I'll just show you again one day. We'll do an update soap draw because I know I did that once before. Um. Okay, so I got, this is called Rose Bombshell, which is a really nice rosy scent. Oh, listen. Oh boy, I didn't realize that. This is going to be exciting. It's got like, it smells like maraca. I did not know that my boy. I just saw it was new and it smelled great and it had a cute little rosy pattern on it, so... That was the basis of that. And the other one is the Ladybug Bubble Bar. So adorable. Look at how cute. It smells very bubblegummy, kind of like, um, what's it called? Fairy. Oh. oh my god, it's like a very popular. I know Godmother is the one version of the soap. Or was. I don't think Godmother's available anymore. Mm. It's got that smell to it, though. Look, he's so cute. Adorable. Oh, the little ladybug. So that was from Lush. Next, I went to Barnes & Noble because I was out with my friend. And I don't get to go there because there was something Joey wanted. And I don't really get to go. Um, and my time is very limited because I work a lot of hours. And normally when we go out, we buy it together. So, um, this is going to be a birthday gift. It is a very early. But uh, he's been wanting this book for a while. It is The Count of Monte Cristo. So I got him that book. So I got to hide now until his birthday. Because he's really been wanting it. I just got to hold it in the meanwhile. He doesn't attempt to buy it. Right in there. And then, we're going to be doing this later today. I have... These were on clearance for like 75% off. We're going to unbox two minions. We got this bigger vinyl figure minion. I hope we get a cool one. I didn't realize how cheap they were, otherwise we would have gotten more. So if I get a chance to go back this week, I'll get more. And then these are uh, finger puppet minions. So those are going to be really cool. We're going to do that later on after I finish with this video and a couple others. So that's going to be exciting. Next, I went because Mother's Day is here. I already gave my mother her gift, but I'll show you the stuff that I ended up getting as well. Because I had coupons and they had a bunch of different things going on. So, I ended up getting my mom... Um, I got Because they had the candles on sale. I got her... It was called Paris and it smelled like lavender macaroon. So I got her that. I got a sundress candle. Which smells... It reminds me of... For those of you who know what it is, it may not sound good. Um, I know it's an import. I don't know how readily available it is in the United States, but um, growing up, my grandparents, who are from Europe, had it. Uh, it's called Panadin Cream. It's kind of like Nivea, but it's really super thick, and it's really, um, it's a great moisturizer. It's really good. If you can find it, um, I strongly recommend trying it out. Anyway, that's that's exactly what this candle smells like to me and it's just a very clean but for me it's very soothing because it reminds me of my grandmother who died when I was quite young and it reminds me of her a blend of bright day lilies tonka beans bergamot in an easy and breezy as a sunny day bergamot of course uh, comment down below if you know what I'm talking about when I say panadin cream I could be pronouncing it wrong but that's sort of what this candle reminds me of, is that moisturizer. Uh, 
it's kind of difficult to find in the States. I know it needs to be imported. At least that's how my parents and grandparents get it. But it smells like identical to that. Next I had a coupon for a free travel item. I got a golden pineapple luau. I like holding these in my purse just because when you need that extra little lotion. And this is delicious. It's so juicy. It smells just like pineapple. So I got that for free. So I couldn't pass this up to save my life. Now I got my mother a really sparkly one with her bag. And I gave her, um, I'll show you some other things, but I got her stuff from here. Then I bought her like some clothing from um, Venus and... I think I found a, uh, I got, there was a shirt she wanted at Macy's that I got her. Anyway, I got this adorable pack back holder with an anchor on it. I can't wait to use it. This is like definitely coming with me on vacation because it is too adorable for words. I absolutely love it. This was $5.50. One of the more pricier ones, but I love anchors as you guys know and I couldn't pass it up. Next, I had done the five for six. They have gone up in price since um, the last time I had purchased these. I got my mother the stress relief. I gave her the stress relief one, the limoncello, and she's really into the um, China, uh, Japanese cherry blossom, which I do not like, but I digress. I kept two for myself. I got Honolulu Sun, which I'm planning on taking on me to with vacation with that. And this one, because there's a fox on it, because it says, you're all I see. It's a orange scent. And it's got an adorable little fox, because you know my obsession with those. Anyway, if you spent $30, they had a promotion that you could get this bag full of goodies for $30 as well. So between the candles and all that, I hit that mark. So this is the adorable bag. It's really, really cute. It has a zipper on it. And the inside is purple. And this retails for $117. Plus I had, besides the free uh, thing, I had a 20% off coupon that I used with it as well, which took off, let me see. It doesn't exactly say how much it took off, but I know it was like, it was a decent amount. It was like at least $12. Mm, it doesn't exactly say how much, because the they break it down per item, but that's okay. I got another coupon, and then this talks about um, like how to safely light, how to safely have a lit candle in the house, which is always good to know if you weren't aware. Wear. The first thing is this candle, which I've had this set before, and I really do like it. This is the Georgia Peach, which is really yummy. It's as close to an actual like peach scent as you're going to get. I think there's like a bit of sweet tea in here or something like that. Uh, dewy petals and a hint of creamy vanilla, which is delicious. I would have given my mother the stuff in this bag, but she doesn't use the normal lotions or the body sprays. She only used like the triple uh, moisturizing lotion. So I didn't end up, because I was going to give her some of this stuff as well. But uh, she only likes Cashmere Glow, uh, the Japanese Cherry Blossom, and the, um, the Stress Relief one, which I really like as well. And once in a while she'll do Lemon Cello, but she doesn't really veer from those um, three scents. So in here is Hello Beautiful Lotion, a mini Thousand Wishes, which I'll keep for my purse. A Thousand Wishes pack back and a Thousand Wishes spray, which I will also keep in my purse. I like those. Then here you got a Juicy Georgia Peach Foaming Cleanser, a Hello Beautiful spray, and it looks like the one back there is also a Hello Beautiful uh, body wash, which I will use for um, a bubble bath. So I thought that was an awesome deal for that. So I got my mom the things. I was looking for the Japanese cherry blossom candle that they have. Unfortunately, they were sold out of that. But the lavender macaroon smells a lot like the stuff that she likes. She likes lavender scents as well. Which, the one that she loved the most from Bath & Body Works was the one from the Italian line they had a couple years ago. 
but I can never find like they've done a few lavender scents since then but that Italian lavender was her absolute favorite so I know the semi-annual sales coming up I'm hoping maybe they'll have some extras of that I always look for that scent for her because of how much she liked it and uh, like the espresso I think it was called Italian espresso or something like that that she really liked that Italian collection in general I loved as well it brought us the limoncello and all those deliciousness anyway guys I am going to get going I think we're going to do uh, the unboxing next. Maybe we'll do the unboxing next. I think so. We'll see. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. We got three more coming, guys. See you in the next one. Take care.